right, all right. Boy Trigger Man back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Man, we're doing some side work today. Got a call last night. Today is Saturday, the 26th, I think it is. Three day weekend, supposed to be. Monday is uh, Memorial Day. I was planning to go fishing this morning. But um, I got home yesterday from work. Got a call from one of the paint reps I deal with and said there was a guy that had a shop and a, had a car ready to paint. They fired the painter yesterday. I think they said they caught him stealing something or doing something crazy, man. So they fired the dude and um, asked me if I would come in. I'm like, I ain't coming in yesterday, like, no. And I ain't one too crazy about coming in over the weekend, but I called the guy, you know, he gave me the number. I called the guy's shop and we worked out a, a real nice price. You know, he's gonna pay me to go in and spray the car and it's an overall. You know, usually stuff like this, what I do on the, on the weekends for these paint reps, it's usually like, you know, just a, a side, maybe a front cap or something. But this is a whole overall. He sent me a video. It's all pixelated, but it's a whole car primer, everything all over the place. I told him, get the car ready, man. I come down there and shoot it. You know, it's damn near in Miami. Like, I think at the end of Hollywood somewhere. So I got to drive down there and shoot this real quick, man. So, yeah, so these are a couple of the guns. And I'm gonna bring with me Scola. Got this here F, the you know the ANIF, whatever. My um, Iwata LS400 and Goldilocks. So, cause I don't know what type of paint they're gonna have. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just going with a couple different guns. Had they would have called me while I was still at work, I would have brought the V-Boy gun in. You know what I'm saying? You dig? But yeah, so that's what we're doing, man. I'm just getting ready. Getting ready here. Got my arm. Um, oh yeah, see, I keep full face mask. Another full face mask. Got one in here, full face mask, paint suit, my gloves. I say I stay ready for this stuff, man. You know? Again, this is my little hustle, you know. Anyway, I'm going to cut you guys off, and I'm going to cut you back on when I get a little closer to the shop down there. And um, I already told a guy I want to film, you know, because like I said, I've done a couple of these already, and I didn't film it because I don't know how the shops are about, you know, recording everything. But I told a guy, you know, in my channel, I want to do some, some filming. He said, well, no problem, man. Come on, you know, no problem. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll cut you guys on, we get a little closer down there. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. All right, all right. We just about down here, man. Hey, so how about I'm about five minutes away? I called this dude on the highway. I said, man, I'm about 15 minutes out. He said, okay, man, I'm on my way to the shop now. I was on the way to the shop. And I see, I know you said you had to finish getting it ready early this morning. He said, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to get it ready. I get it ready. I said, so, because I'm five minutes away, man. What you mean get it ready? We're supposed to start at nine, spraying. Oh, yeah, man, it'll just, it'll just be quick, man. There's no windows in the car to... I'm like, man, that ain't what we agreed upon, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't what we agreed upon, man. We came up with that number. No. <laughs> like, if I come through now, boy, you know it's going to be a different number. If I got a prep, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so we here. You know. State Road 7. Damn, that. This is Hollywood Boulevard. Right up here. Yeah, it's almost to Miami, coming from where I'm from, man. I'm all the way north. But, yeah, that number gonna go up, man. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? True man dying. Oh, man, what you you want some breakfast? I said, I don't want no breakfast, man. I, I already ate. I ate me some ribs and a protein shake, man. I'm ready to work, man. I'm ready to spray and go home. So, yeah, man, I don't know you like that. I ain't stun all that, man. You had that guy dang on. Had that cash right one, let's get to it. But yeah, so I cut y'all back on, man, when I get down there, get to the actual 
spot. You know what I'm saying? See that though? Don't ask me why. Yeah, so I cut y'all back on, man. When we get when we get to the spot, see what's what. You know what I mean? Boop. Boy, that done set the old trigger up, boy. That done set the trigger up, boy. This thing ain't nowhere near ready. Nowhere near ready. Man, that trigger about to walk out that mall, boy. Wow. They still gotta get it out. Look at this. They gotta get it out of here into the boot. Man, trick about to get up out of here, boy. We're gonna have to get some straight, boy. Yeah, they might have come with some more cash for this up, boy. Right, they gotta come with some cash for this. Hey man, want me to just come back later? Man, boy. Hey man, we're gonna see what's what. I'll hit y'all back on in a little bit, man. Right, all right. Boy, Trigger Man, boy, we in the lab. We in a whole different kind of lab, though, boy. Look at her, look at her, look at her. They got me. Boy, they got me on. They got me up here. I went ahead and helped them out a little bit with the little rush job. Boy, oh, look at her, they got me. <laughs> they got the boy Trigger. That's what we gonna be doing. Man, I'm trying to help get the hell out of here. I don't know how, how, this, how this gonna go, man. <laughs> you know? Boy, it's hot, that little small booth. Y'all know I'm used to painting that dinosaur, boy. That big thing, it's a, it's a dinosaur, but it's a little mini. The dude get the bumper ready, they finna put the bumper on here. Man, I'm finna load up this gun and get the bang, 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 bang. Collect the cash and get the fuck up out of here. All right, man. What am I do? What am I do? What am I do? I'm gonna try to get the dude to hold the camera for me. Have my own little cameraman for a little bit. I don't know how that's gonna go. But, yeah, man, I'm finna get to it, man. All right, all right. Let's get to it. Boy, Trigger Man coming live to a booth near you. Yeah, boy, they got me in this here miniature dinosaur. You know, I'm used to the dinosaur, but boy, this here little thing. Man, let me know, is this the size you guys' booth, man? This thing is teeny tiny. The dude didn't even have the, the um thing, the rear bumper. He didn't have the rear bumper ready. You know, he wanted to go down and sand that. I'm like, look, man, I got the roll, man. I laid back in my truck for a little bit while he got it all ready and washed it and scuffed it up and everything he washed it down and i helped him go ahead and put the plastic on and stuff but i was like man well, i was ready to go i was gonna walk out of that boy i swear to god i came in there and seen that thing looking like that man especially we agreed nine o'clock start time which i gave him 20 minutes I had me some leftover ribs I had to tear up this morning. And man, I gave him an extra 20 minutes. But it's all good, man. I got down here. Dude was cool, man. Real cool dude, you know. He, um, he talked about some things. And, you know, what he does is um, ship cars. He buys them from the auction. Ships them out of the country. Which I was doing some, some car auction stuff as well just recently so I'm familiar with it and it's those certificate of destructions the ones that you can't um, rebuild to go back on the Florida highways you know so they send them to different countries and when I was buying them from the auction you know I um those are the ones I had to stay away from because I didn't have no kind of connections or whatever to send cars out of the country and all that but this guy does a whole lot of it man he got a, two big warehouses full of stuff so um yeah, we chopped it up for a while, man. Talked and turned out to be a real cool dude. And uh, we're going to do some other stuff in the future. But, yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Just making connections, meeting people, networking, plus making some money. But, yeah, man, so, um, yeah, cool dude, man. Stopped. We had some lunch. We went and got me some lunch, had me some jerk chicken, 
steamed vegetables. You know what I mean? Jamaican dude, real cool, man. Salute to all of my Jamaican brethren, them who uh, subscribe to the channel here. Salute to all my Jamaican guys out there, man. Big up, big up, brethren. Hmm. You dig? One trigger man, them. A trigger man. They call him Trigger Man, Road Boy. You want to romp with me? <laughs> I bet y'all don't know what movie that's from. Now you gonna go Google it. Now you gonna go Google it. Mm -hmm. Stop the blood clot crying. It's your turn. Hey, so check this out. Onto the job. See, I'm pointing at something. He had a dude down there that was wiping putty. And all kind of little scratches and stuff, man. I don't know what it do. The dude was on a bicycle. So, I don't know. He was trying to set some stuff up or whatever. But he left a bunch of putty. So, as I was coming along, you know, I would see the stuff. Yeah, so you said... That's what he doing? Yeah, cut it off. When I'm cooking, it go out. It's kind of dust. Yeah, yeah. That's the cat there, man. Salute. Rude boy. Real rude boy there. But yeah, man, so the dude put putty all over the place. So as I'm painting it, you know, I'm coming across this putty and stuff. And uh, it's just... Normally something like this probably kind of irritate me. Now nah, it would irritate me. But being, the day turned out to be, turned out to be good, man. It was, it was a cool day, man. I was supposed to be down there at 9, spray it. Be out of there by about 12. I didn't end up leaving there until like 4. But, you know, he took care of me. He broke me off real nice, extra. And um, plus, I made a new contact with some other stuff. You know what I mean? Doing some other business. And it was all good, man. Actually, it was a good day. But uh, he's spraying with some, um, this is Chroma, Chroma Base. They deal with a lot of DuPont stuff down there. So this was Chroma Base that was spraying with. And then some clear, which I never, I never used before. Clear was a um, chrome or something, man. It was a, it was another Dupont clear. It was a two to one. Again, I had I hadn't sprayed with I sprayed with chrome chroma base maybe 15, 18 years ago. You know, when I was first getting started in the trade, that was kind of popular. You no, know, actually, yeah, right when I got in the trade, and then I went to PPG, PPG school and so forth. But um. Yeah, so brought me a couple guns down. Didn't really know which gun I was gonna go with because again, the material, man, sometimes you spraying material for the first time and it's kind of funny with one gun. You use a different gun and it's okay. So luckily the first two I pulled out of the bag was the first two that I went with and it worked. It worked real good, it came out real good. Um, for the base, I went with this here, the a and F-160. Gun moves fast. I wanted I wanted all fast guns. You know, I didn't want to be down here all day. You see how fast I'm moving that gun? Like, and that's no camera. That's no camera tricks. The camera isn't speeded up any or anything like that. The camera is not sped up. Let me say that correctly. Um, yeah. So that's just how the gun moves, man. I just had to. I want to get down here, in and out. You know. Notice I go. See, I go real light around that primer. Now, you know, on my jobs, at my shop, when I'm working, you know, I always tell you guys, oh, I get my coverage, first coat. You know, I would have sat there and buried that stuff. But because this vehicle here, man, they, they cut these panels in. Like, this whole car was new doors, new roof. Like, everything was gone. And they cut this stuff in. And the dude didn't want to seal the car. And I know that if you go heavy on some of those, those jobs where the vehicle's been cut in, you know, your edges will start to wrinkle up. Everything will start to fry up a little bit. And I'm going with a slow reducer. A slow base reducer will give that more time to sit on those edges and, and wrinkle up that old paint, or whatever, whatever's under there from when they cut the vehicle in. So that's why I was kind of careful right there. And I'm just going back with it. Normally I would just start burying that base. You know, I would just cover that stuff in the first coat. And any of you know that watch my channel, I bury it in the first coat. But um, I did not want to um, have anything wrinkle up which a couple spots did. This is right up here in this roof, right there in that corner. That actually spot did wrinkle up a little bit. Again, 
And this is just stuff I know that occurs, so I know how to come at this. So luckily it was only just that one spot there and one other little spot. But if you come in that stuff heavy, especially with a slow reducer, it's taking that base longer, you know, it just sits on there longer, wet. It stays wet longer on the panel. So I knew how to come at it and luckily, luckily it came out okay. And I will tell you, God was with me in this booth. You know, some of you guys may not believe in God or whoever you believe in, your higher power, you know, UFO, monkey in a space suit, whoever it is, boy, he was with me. Well, mine is God. He was with me in his booth. I didn't have a stand. All I had was that five gallon can of lacquer thinner. And for me reaching all over that hood, over the roof, and not falling, not the hood, because that's did on my feet. On the roof, reaching over that, on that five gallon can, and not fall off. <laughs> boy, boy, that's one. And number two, for the job to come out as clean as it did, I ain't saying the job came out flawless with no dirt. It had some specks of dirt. It did have a few pieces of dirt in it. But the condition that this booth was in, that everything was in, the vehicle, when I got there, all the dust all over it, all over the interior, everything, Man, it was a blessing. That was a blessing. You know, I did a couple things prior to painting it um, with him that I showed him, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "Just trust me, man. Just do this." Which I'm not gonna say now. I've I've, I've put that in a different video for you guys, and um, the views really weren't weren't there, so you won't be getting that tip now. I'm only gonna get, give you guys one or two tips <laughs> per video, and this won't be on that one. But yeah, so I showed him a few things, man, so we can get the job a little cleaner. And surprisingly, man, it came out clean, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, look how look how dirty and dusty that booth is, man. Booth was loud. We're still getting it down, but we're getting it down. But yeah, so um, yeah, and he's shipping this car out like it already. I think it's already been sold. Told me it already been sold. That's why it was kind of urgent. He needed someone to come in there and get it right and just not the way he got to go fixing a whole bunch of stuff afterwards the vehicle was sold and it's being shipped out i want to say wednesday or something like that thursday and um, that's what that is man yep so now i got a plug i want to ship some cars or something pretty cool man pretty cool pretty cool yeah, so I chose this here, the A and I gun. Cause I needed to get in here and get out, man, fast. And this gun, I said I did the review on it a couple times at the shop, and from what I remember, it was was pretty fast, and it did good. It did a good job. You guys remember, I did a black Audi on the channel, and um, I used this gun for base and clear. And I just remember it was a, it was a big job. The whole front cap, plus the doors along the side, and um, one quarter panel. And it got me in and out of that booth fast, so that stayed in the back of my mind, you know. I wanted to go ahead and bring this one here down here. So, grab the four guns. And you'll see, I got my guns right in the, in the corner with me inside the booth. You know, I got a little corner over there. I got all my bags and my guns, camera bag or whatever. Like, man, Trigger, I don't play all that, but I don't play all that. I ain't leave my stuff out there in the shop. Come out there, my stuff gone, boy. Look at here. I'm gonna take the compressor. <laughs> I'm gonna take your air compressor. A bunch of tools out your toolbox. We gotta do something, man, until I get my guns. <laughs> you did. But yeah, man. Trigger man. Man, what are you doing this little tiny Little tiny dirty booth trigger, man. Man, what the hell? I just clicked on the video and I see you in this little, little dirty booth, man. What the, what the hell's going on? Oh man, I gotta start this over. Watch from the beginning. What the, what the hell? Did you get a new? Ch and who's the brother walking around, man? Oh, he's gonna get dirty in your paint job, man. What, man, trigger? Oh man, somebody let me know what's going. 
Look at this guy. He's got a guy walking and touching like. Oh man, what the hell? What? The... Why are you spraying? Oh, trigger, man. What the hell is going on, trigger? I'm completely lost here, man. I don't know what the hell is going on. What are you spraying on the plastic? Is this even trigger, man? Hold on. Do I got the right channel? Oh, what the hell? No, hold on, hold on. The trigger, man. Yeah, it's the right channel. Man, there's some weird shit there, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. What gun is that? I never seen you with that gun, trigger. What's that? That looks like a pro light there, huh? Boy, trigger. Whatever you're doing, man, I know you're gonna do it right, brother. So go ahead, do your thing, brother. As far as the clear gun, I brought down my DeVilbus Pro Light. This is a 1.4 with the TE20 cap, spraying at 30 psi. 30 PSI, 1.4, and a TE20. You know, I have the TE with the T110. I have that cap as well, but again, you know that that slows down, slows me down a lot. It does give you a flatter finish. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But today we wanted speed. We had a need for speed today. I had to bring them out, bring them out. But yeah, the pressure in this booth, man. You'll see me playing with the gun pretty often. The um, pressure, it just kept like, whenever I let go of the trigger and I pull the trigger in, it would start again at 40 PSI. And then after I spray a couple passes, it'll go down to 30, and sometimes even a little lower. So they definitely have an issue with the, um, the air pressure coming through I don't know the regulators or whatever they got going on behind the booth or whatever but it was definitely a problem and I pointed that out to him and I showed it to him on the gauge I'm like you know I'm doing what I can here man you know again it was just only God that I didn't fall off of that can and I know that happens man I done done it I done done it I'd be leaning over a um roof roof job leaning on something a five gallon can i done it right off a five gallon can and fall right off Blap! my hand straight into the clear my arm right into the clear it has happened it has happened yeah so and then i told him i like i'm gonna give you two coats of clear right we're doing two coats oh man you gotta do until it look good, man, if it look good. I said, it's going to look good, man. Two coats is going to look good. I said, you don't need all that threefold. You know, I don't need to do all that, man. Said, all right, if it look good. I said, okay. And we agreed. If it looks good at two coats, that's it. Don't go trying to make up nothing. Try to kill me, man. Had me down here all day, man. Yeah, they're playing a lot of loud music out in the shop, too. So that's why I really didn't even go out there. Like we ate a little lunch and stuff. He brought, like I said, the jerk chicken and steamed vegetable, plantains. We were sitting out there, but I wanted to cut on the camera a little bit. But man, they had so much music playing. I probably would have had all kind of copyright issues, you know? So, yeah, even when I go out, when I went out to mix up paint and everything, it's like, man, the radio was blasting so loud. So I just kept it in the booth. And, that would have made the video even longer anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, you get all the important stuff here. But yeah, so this is one of those times, man, where we always talk about dialing in stuff, you know, dial it in, play with your materials. This is just one of those days, man, where just, you know, God was on my side the way it came out, and it came out real good. I was, I was pleased with it. And, um, anything can go wrong, you know, you're not, not familiar with the clear, not familiar with the product, anything can go wrong, you know. And 
that's why I'm saying not showing off and say yeah I could go in there and do this no 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 I know I know that God was on my side it was in these conditions you know a little funky little booth brand new materials that I haven't used in forever the base I used the clear I've never even seen the clear before so but again so anything can go wrong anything spray so sometime and you go to put the clear on first time and you put a little heavy because you're in your mind you're putting it on just like you put on your last clear you sprayed and then you walk back up to it and it's starting to run everywhere like anything could have went wrong but it didn't man so it didn't yeah it felt good spraying with this old developers I haven't used this sucker here in a while yeah, I call it Goldilocks I believe my boy Trey from Tracer Paints I, I believe he calls his Goldilocks as well it's just coincidence, you know, we both called the gun Goldilocks. So, it only makes sense. She's gold, she's beautiful. Just like Goldilocks. You dig? But yeah, man, so I ended up giving them two good solid coats, clear. And I sat around and waited. I was ready, as you know, I was ready to go already. But I was like, let me sit around. You know, we let the fan run for a little while. I didn't want to take off. And they'd be to shut the booth right off. And the car die back because, you know, they want to save electricity. A lot of them shops, you know, they don't, they don't want the booth running too long. They want to shut it off. I didn't want no problems, man. Call me the next day to my old car died back. I didn't want none of that. So I sat there for probably a good 45 minutes after I was finished. Could have been home by then but i sat around waited let the fan run you know let's get all those solvents that are coming out let them escape get them out of here trigger man leave i don't want you calling me about nathan all right so we're gonna sit back man i'm gonna sit back be quiet and let you guys go ahead and enjoy a couple minutes of just spray time man Trigger Man Remix. Man Remix.
Trigger Man Remix. Trigger Man Remix.
right, all right. That's what we're looking like. And thank you guys for watching. Please, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And most importantly, when you tell that friend, make sure you tell his girlfriend. Peace.